Number 72. Write the rate law for each of the following elementary reactions, and then we have one elementary reaction or one elementary step here, which is ClO plus O yields Cl plus O2. Now before you do it, any work, just always make sure that whatever equation they give you is balanced. But I'm looking at this and it looks balanced to me. So it is a balanced equation. And they're saying that this balanced equation is an elementary reaction. An elementary reaction, especially when you're talking about kinetics, an elementary reaction is a single step reaction. So it's only a one stepper, one step reaction. So what you see is what you get. There's no hidden other steps that will, you know, uh, mess up the rate law in any way. And what I mean by mess up is I mean that if you have only one step, the rate law is going to mimic exactly what this is because you only have this one step. Usually in overall reactions, you might have a mechanism of two or three or four steps. And sometimes the rate law doesn't exactly match um, the overall reaction. But in this, if this is the case, you only have this one step, so it's got a mimic. And for elementary reactions, maybe I'll put it down here. For elementary reactions, the rate law is, is basically the same, but it just has one little catch to it, right? And it's this right here. If we're dealing with elementary reactions, Rate equals K, that's the same for any rate law, times the reactants, nobody cares about the products, but the only difference is, since you're only dealing with that one step, you are allowed to raise it to the coefficients. <gasps> oh, how easy is that? So, just take everything at face value. We just have to write the rate law for this. Maybe I'll move this up a little bit, and then let's go for it, right? Rate equals, I guess we'll color code. So, K times the rate constant times the concentration of the reactants. And here we have two reactants. We have ClO, so let's write that one out. Okay, close that bracket. And then we have another one as well. We have O, so I'll write that down. Yay, maybe I'll bring this in a little bit closer. And now, keep in mind that each reactant is raised to the coefficient. So ClO, we had one, so I could raise it to, to, to the first, but I don't have to if I don't want to, because anything raised to the first is itself. And then I just have one O. So same thing. I'll just take the two ones away, uh, but that's basically it. This is the final answer. Oh yeah. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thanks you so, thanks you. Thank you. I need, <laughs> I need to get a drink of water after this. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for um, coming here and getting your educational needs. We have physics and math videos also on the channel with more subjects in the future. So always check back. Um, thank you so much for coming here. And you guys rock. Keep studying hard. Always keep learning. And good luck to you on your tests and quizzes. I'm always rooting for you. And yeah, have a great day. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.